Hi Libra, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the video. Liking the video does help my algorithm. It helps to push my content out there for other people to receive these messages. Don't try to force a message. You can always check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if this message does not resonate with you. There are blue timestamps available for you in the comment section, so I pinned them to the top of the comment section. All you have to do is click on them, and it'll take you right to what you want to listen to, so you can bypass anything that you're not interested in. Okay, whatever comes out first. What are the important messages for Libra? Important messages for Libra. Okay, you got the devil, Capricorn energy. Three of Wands. I see you working through some stuff, Libra. Is what I'm getting first, or that this is something you need to do. Some of you guys may be looking in the other direction. So it does look like there's some shadow work here that needs to be done, Libra. going through a dark night of the soul. Let's see. I heard another one. Look at that. The sun, Leo energy. Three of cups. Let your friends help you with the three of cups. And then we have the queen of swords, male or female. It's just energy in tarot. This is your energy right now. I feel like there's a lot on your mind, Libra, going forward. I feel like, you know, you don't really know what's next is what it's telling me. I'm actually getting like that Robin Williams statement where he's like on to his next adventure and doesn't know what to expect, okay? I do want to clarify this devil. Eight of Swords. Yeah, look at this, Libra. You got to deal with this, okay? This is, you're trapped in your mind here, okay? I feel like you're thinking very negatively. Some of you guys may be suppressing some negative emotions, possibly afraid to look at your negative shadow side. We all have a shadow side, right? And actually, when you get to know your shadow side, you can use it to your advantage, and so I do feel like some of you Libras may be going through a dark night of the soul the rest of March, or this is something that needs to happen. I'm also with that three of wands. You guys could be traveling. I'm just seeing you travel more here. But this traveling can also just be about you finding yourself, finding deeper meaning, okay? Why the three of cups? I feel like you're going to be meeting new connections, Libra, but these do feel platonic. These connections, it feels like, you know, your friend circle, it, it does look like there are people around you that do want to, you know, see you smile. They want to make you happy. I feel like there's some new people coming in. We have the Hierophant, someone really wise. Okay. You're about to come in contact with some sort of mentor, someone who's been through what you've been through. And through this meeting, it's like you're going to acquire more knowledge here. So be on the lookout for that. We have the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We also have Taurus here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, a lot of it. I just, I really feel like, you know, you're going through a period of introspection. And the reason why this is an important message for Libra to hear right now is it's like, just kind of acknowledge it for what it is. Okay, you're, you're in a state of limbo. You may feel like you're in limbo in your life right now. You may feel like you're not really quite sure what's next or where to go. Some of you guys kind of feel like you're just uh, suspended in air, so to speak. Could be walking away from a relationship. I don't think you want to, though. We got the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Somebody wasn't emotionally ready or emotionally available here. 
And then we have the hermit. Your reading, it's, look at this, spiritually bankrupt. Feeling depleted, feeling drained, feeling like you gave something your all. Virgo energy. Yeah, and we have the Three of Swords, Six of Wands. So, you know, your guides are just wanting you to pay attention to how you feel. And in order to get back to yourself again, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, in order to feel like yourself again, you know, you got to feel it to heal it. Don't suppress it. Don't try to, you know, the, the Devil card could be t partaking in toxic activities. Okay, for some of you guys, you could be partaking in toxic activities to try to heal from something here that hurt you. And I just want to tell you, I mean, the t I'm not judging you, but the tarot is saying, you know, that's really not the way to go about it. The way to go about it is to go into introspection. I do feel like you're going to become more enlightened after whatever just took place. It was for your benefit. You just don't see it that way. The hanged man. I feel like your perspective of the situation is, you know, of course, like, you know, she's wearing a blindfold. She doesn't see, she or he doesn't see that the things that happen are actually to benefit. Rejection is God's protection, right? So we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, air energy for some of you, water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do see a victory here with that Six of Wands. Let's see, I want to get you some more... I'm a little slow today, y'all, so bear with me. Can you guys hear me? Angel number for Libra. Angel number for Libra. Angel number 17, the affirmation is I am independent. So you're being asked to be independent at this time. So before I read this card, I'm intuitively getting, be mindful of people who are bad influences. Trust your gut. The card says the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I'm hearing sirens, by the way, but for some of you, so sirens can be significant, but for some of you guys, you know, the I am independent card, this is your guides wanting you to become more independent as well. What else? What else? Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Position of authority. Authority. You could be in a position of authority or that's something that is coming into fruition in the future. So you're disappointed in somebody, Libra. A meeting with a stranger could be important. There's somebody new about to enter your life that's going to help you triumph over your troubles and obstacles. Birds, eagles, hawks, significant, flowers, significant. Okay. This is interesting. Those of you that are single, I do see you're being, you know, people do like you. They like the way you look and they're interested in you wanting to get to know you. Some of you guys... What is this? What is this? I want to clarify that real quick. Fox. You know, don't trust your coworkers. I hate to say that. Don't be overly paranoid, but I'm, I feel like that you guys could have some coworkers or you could have some people that are negative influences or just some people who are giving you poor advice. Trust your gut. Okay. That's, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, who is this person that's entering Libra's life? Somebody here. I feel like it's platonic. I feel like it's a friend. 
someone new that's going to help you grow spiritually, goldfish, could possibly help you increase your material wealth somehow. Yeah, look at this. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So I'm also getting right place, right time with meeting this person. Okay, so like you could be seeing 222 because I'm getting right place, right time every time. So you are where you should be. I'm just getting a chance meeting here. Okay, the universe is really wanting you to meet somebody here to help you with your growth. So just pay attention to that. Let's see. I know a lot of um, people come in for the love readings. Um, so there will be timestamps afterwards. If you want to skip past this part. Let's see. Separation. There's somebody here thinking about you that you are separated from, broken up with. They're unsure of their decision. So this tells me they could have possibly rejected you some way. Let's see. Passion. Okay. Heart with a key. So what I'm getting first, Libra, and then we have coffee cup. What I'm getting first is there someone who rejected you? Okay, they're unsure about that decision right now. They're starting to second guess it. Because they did feel the chemistry with you is what it's telling me with the passion card. You're going to hear from this person if you haven't already. We have heart with a key. This is about getting together. Um, there could be some closure coming in from this person, but be mindful of people... Be mindful of people that are not necessarily wanting to be with you, but wanting your attention. Wanting to keep you on the back burner. Be very mindful of that. I don't like that. No one to spot that. I feel like that's more so for my singles, of course. We have engagement ring. All right, what is this? Hmm, heartbroken. Karmic relationship. So for some of you guys, Libra, you really thought this was, you really wanted this to go to the distance. Again, I'm just getting like a breakup here. Feeling lost. Somebody rejecting you. It's so interesting to me because... I, honestly, I can't even tell why they rejected you because it's telling me that they're thinking about you. Okay, it's telling me that you guys liked each other. You both liked each other a lot. There was a lot of chemistry. So what is what is the deal? We have karmic relationship here. I feel like this could have been some sort of lesson. So why the rejection? Why the rejection to Libra? Okay, we have the full, <laughs> well, um, non-committal. Why did they reject you? They're non-committal. I, I don't, I have to say what I'm getting. I do feel like somebody here, I do feel like somebody here did not want to lead you on. Because they did like you as a person. They didn't want to lead you on. Why is this engagement ring here? The tower. Scorpio energy. Some of you guys, side note, you might hear about a higher level of commitment within the family or something new entering your life here. guys need to meditate more All right that's not woo woo I promise you if you are feeling lost and confused one way to change that one way to get in touch with yourself because this tower to me kind of looks like a kundalini awakening 
I, I just, you know, I'm really getting this energy that starts from your root chakra and all the way up to your crown chakra. And it's kind of like it, and it's going, there's some sort of mass awakening, massive awakening you're going through. I just don't think some of you guys see it that way. Because when you, when you start to realize that everything happens for your benefit, even the bad stuff, the universe will put situations in our path that could potentially hurt us or that hurt us because one way to get our attention is to hurt us. When everything's going well and smoothly, we don't awaken. The only way to really get our attention is to go through a difficult situation, a struggle. Knight of Swords, don't run from that. I just feel like it's time to go within Libra. We have Aries here, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay. So those of you that came to this reading wondering why you were rejected by someone, it's because they're non-committal. It's as simple as that. All right, let's move on to the singles portion. This is singles and new love. I'll do two spreads. don't know what I'm talking about try meditating try just and you know you're gonna have thoughts you're gonna have monkey brain and that's fine but just just when you find time try meditating okay listen to some uh, heart chakra music or do I would do a root chakra meditation first a quick one to activate all of those chakras Clean, you know, clear them out. I am getting like a heart chakra blockage for some of you. Okay. <clears throat> Something about security too. Security, your root chakra. All right, single, singles. Well, hello, Jasper. Okay, so who's coming toward my single Libras? coming towards single Libras. Well, you're about to get a lot of attention. What are you doing to get all this attention, Libra? Six of Wands. You could work in the public eye or you could be doing something in the public eye, but I just see you out in public and people are just, they can't take their eyes off you. Like the spotlight's on you. Hierophant. Yeah, you radiate, you got your aura. My, my. My, my. The more you work on your, look at this, nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, the Hierophant. The more you work on yourself, Libra, you are attracting a lot of attention. Some of you guys are working on yourselves physically, but I'm also getting it's more of a spiritual with the Hierophant. It's like you guys are working on your spiritual side. And it's manifesting a lot of attention. I'm just getting like all eyes on you. Hmm. What else? What else? The lovers. Some of you guys will be meeting a Gemini. Okay. But what is that about? Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Now I know I saw the Two of Swords. There it is. Okay, be mindful of people that are already in connections. You got someone coming towards you, Libra. Could be another air sign with the Queen of Swords, the Lovers. We got Leo here. And then we got the Three of Swords. Taurus is here. Hmm. Why do I... S okay. Hold on one second. I had to clear my throat for this one. 
Let me tell you something, Libra. There is someone coming towards you, and they're looking at you. This Queen of Swords, male or female, it's just energy and tarot. The Queen of Swords is somebody who is, you know, direct. I'm getting, like, someone bluntly or directly, just kind of, like, obviously. <laughs> I heard obviously. Someone is very obvious about their interest in you. Um, but the Three of Swords tells me... The Two of Swords, Three of Wands. This person is connecting with others or someone else. Okay, so just be mindful of that if you're not wanting to get yourself in any sort of, like, drama. So why do they want to offer you something? Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. I don't have any cards indicating that this person is a player, but, I mean, if it walks like a duck <laughs> and talks like a duck... All right, let's see. Is this person a... What is this? It's telling me they want you as an option. Somebody likes you, but why do I feel like they're connecting with someone else? What is this? King of Cups. Oh my gosh. This is a mess. Justice. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Oh, okay. Yeah, Eight of Swords. I don't know why, but just be mindful, Libra, of people coming towards you that are already in a connection. Be mindful of that. Because that's what I'm getting. I asked why are they doing this, and it just told me they took a, they've took taken a special interest in you. There's something about them feeling stuck with the Eight of Swords, the Hermit. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, King of Wands. Very physically attracted to you. an escape someone's uh, uh, I'm getting like an image of like someone escaping from jail now that's a metaphor <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's a metaphor um, somebody feels stuck in a situation it's not your problem ace of wands the fool this person's non-committal so I feel like you guys are leaving one non-committal situation for, you know, for something like another. There's someone else who's non-committal showing up in your reading that has taken a special interest in you. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. They want to they wanna talk to you. Okay, so someone with options is coming towards you, Libra. Could be a Gemini, could be an Aquarius, a Virgo. For some of you guys, this is the person. It could be a Leo. This, this could be somebody here that recently, you recently separated from wanting another chance. You also have a secret admirer here. Judgment. It could be a Pisces or a fixed sign. Six of Cups, somebody that you've known for a while. Okay, single. So you got somebody here that is non-committal, that is dealing with other people that you may have recently separated from. They have feelings for you, okay? Um, and then you have a secret admirer here that I'm not sure you're aware of or not. You might be. How you would know who they are, Judgment, Six of Cups. This could be someone that's in and out of your life. Three of Swords. And ugh, they're dealing with someone else too. What the heck is... Okay, I'm done with that. All right. Y'all got people in relationships looking at you wanting you, Libra. And I feel like you're kind of sick of it. You're sick of it. All right. Let's move on to the new person. <clears throat> Okay, so for so for the Libras that already have someone new in mind, 
the Libras that already have someone new in mind. Who is this person? Let's see. The new person, the new person. new person view Libra the rest of March? How do they view you? What are their, what's their opinion of you? They know you're single? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Or they're wondering if you're single. King of Pentacles. They, they view you as independent, stable, respectable, for some reason, they see you as someone who is like business focused, money focused, or goal oriented. Or, you know, all of the above. I'm definitely getting like someone who thinks you're goal oriented, like you're focused on the coin, you're focused on your goals, your endeavors. I'm also getting like. Okay. Tell me, give me one more card for that before I, universe, give me one more card for that. Yeah, attractive. I was going to say attractive. <laughs> okay, queen of wands. There's something about your energy that's really attracting this new person. I think you know they're attracted to you. You don't need me. You don't need a tarot reading. You don't need a tarot reading to know that. It could be a fire sign or an earth sign, or this is someone that has that energy. The lovers could be a Gemini. I, I was asking how they feel about you, the lovers. How do they feel about Libra? They feel like you're different. Okay, what does that mean? Ain't it hard working? Okay. They feel like you have options. Yeah, three of wands, the tower, the devil. Hermit. They're really withdrawn the rest of March. Why is that? I see them withdrawing from you in the future. The sun. To see things more clearly. Somebody's trying to gain perspective here. Virgo, Leo. Someone could have those signs in their chart. This person, how they feel, this new person, they want, they feel like they just want to be close to you. But then, what the heck? Let me get this straight. They feel like they want to be close to you, but they're going to withdraw. They're going to back away. When I ask why, it's to gain clarity, it's to gain perspective. This person analyzes the heck out of things. I, I, you're dealing with an overthinker, for sure. Ten of Pentacles. Now, they could be focused on other things with the Ten of Pentacles. Projects, family, work, things like that. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles to, yeah, this person's trying to make a decision. This person could be traveling soon, too. Maybe that's why they withdraw. You think they're withdrawn and they're just traveling. They, they may be going somewhere here. Five of Swords. You know what? Knight of Swords. The Devil. This person can't make up their mind what they want to do. Okay, I feel like somebody here is really overthinking 
a choice, a decision they have to make that you might not know anything about. Some of you may know about it. I feel like they're trying to run away from something. The devil. What is this devil? Just saw the nine of swords overthinking everything. The star. Death and rebirth. Whoever this new person is, they might start acting funny. So I feel like this is kind of like just a heads up for you. It, they definitely want to be close to you. It's telling me they want to work on some type of partnership or wanting to be close to you, but then they withdraw because of the way, because of that feeling. And now they're in this place of, after that, they're going to be in this place of not knowing what to do. I feel this person is wondering if they self-sabotage. Somebody's going through, it's almost like someone's going through, you know, some type of dark night of the soul as well. With the devil, the star. And it's like the universe is telling them that they need to change something. And they could be running away from that. Two of Swords. Yeah, avoid. So, Eight of Cups. This person wants to leave something behind. I don't know what it is. All right, I don't know what it is. Something that they're committed to with the Ten of Pentacles could be a job or there's something else going on with this person that behind the scenes that I don't think you're aware of. Okay, and it's like this person... They take 10 steps forward and then five steps back on making this decision. What's their hidden truth toward Libra? I don't know how to feel. So they don't know how to feel about what's going on right now in their life. That's why they haven't made the decision. Give me one more. This is either going to resonate or it's not. I miss seeing you. So this person misses you when you're not around. Okay. All right. You could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got strong Aquarius, strong Gemini. Capricorn is here. Leo, Virgo. Okay, we're going to take a look at the current slash past person. So the current slash past person, for those of you who don't know, this is someone that you have established some sort of past with. There's some sort of history between you and this person. What happened in the past between Libra and this person? How would Libra know this is Libra's reading? These cards are so old, they're getting hard to shuffle. How would Libra know that this reading is for Libra? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Well, unrequited, no equal give and take. Somebody was giving more in this situation than the other, and I'm going to go ahead and bet it was you that was giving more to the situation. Something was one-sided. Okay, it felt one-sided. Maybe you felt like you were giving this person more attention than you were getting from them. Somebody here withdrew Virgo energy. Then we have the Knight of Wands. This person's non-committal. The Magician. 
this person didn't know what they wanted with you. I'm going to start with that too. Somebody did, somebody got involved with you, not necessarily knowing what they wanted. And how you're going to know is one sided that that six of pentacles in reverse means one sided. The sun Leo energy. Could have been specifically like good morning texts, okay? Or, you know, you may have felt like you were reaching out to this person more than you were getting reached out to. But the sun tells me, I really feel like you saw a future with this person. Okay, we have the strength in reverse. If you're feeling like reaching out to someone that is not communicating with you, this is about self-discipline. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't reach out to someone who is not, don't reach out to people who it's one-sided with. Don't do that. Because I'm going to predict that you're going to feel this emotion of wanting to check in on someone. Don't do it. If you already have, stop. How does this person feel about Libra? How do they truly feel about you right now as Libra watches this? Split the deck, okay. What? Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. They are you're what they wanted. So why was it one sided? Somebody's non committal. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, the hanged man in reverse. This is about indecision. This is about resistance, stalling. Somebody got all up in their head. Okay. So their feelings about you, they feel like you're loyal. They feel like you're a genuinely good person. Like deep inside, like that's how they feel about you. Like, the, the Nine of Cups talks about satisfactory. Like, this person was very satisfied with how you treated them. So, and, I, and then I have the Nine of Pentacles. So, it's like Nine of Pentacles is that non-committal energy. Somebody just not ready to commit, right? Nancy, thank you so much for the super chat, babe. Tell me more about their feelings toward Libra. But it's, you know, they do feel like, you know, you were a genuine soul, a genuine person, a loyal. They seen you as someone who, you know, had great potential to be loyal to them and provide them with the life that they would want with someone else. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person could be focused on other things, work, school, what have you. Judgment in reverse. They do, for some reason, feel like you may be hard on yourself. I don't know why they feel that way. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is like that work-home conflict. So that tells me they feel as if there was something getting in the way. Work-home conflict. So, like, there was a conflict between what, you know, what they wanted with you and what they wanted with uh, something else. Somebody's energy was being distributed unevenly here, if that makes sense. Somebody could have ignored your messages or ignored your, like, judgment in reverse specifically. This person could have ignored you or, you know, what the heck is that trying to say? Give me a second, guys. Five of Swords. Somebody could feel ignored by you. For those of you that are not reaching out, like I know you want to. Some of you guys did. You're, I'm reading for two groups, groups of Libras right now. First group, y'all acted on impulse and reached out to somebody. Second group, you haven't. And if you have not reached out to this person since something transpired here, they do feel like you're ignoring them. And that's going to cause them to check in on you. Hmm.
How do they feel about Libra? Tell me more. King of Cups. Strength card, Queen of Wands. This person really feels like you stroke their ego, that you built up their strength, their confidence. Leo energy. So, Libra, this person just kind of likes the way you make them feel about themselves, but they weren't ready for a commitment. They weren't available for a commitment or emotionally available for that because it's telling me there was something else in their energy, something else that they're working on or something else going on. For some of you guys, the Queen of Pentacles, it could have been another person. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, another person in the mix, okay? If you didn't know about this, um, sorry to be the one to tell you that I have two, three people here, okay? Four people, King of Pentacles in reverse. Can I tell you if there is someone else? This other person does not even, this other person does not respect them. Like you did. Okay, I feel like this other person is not respectful towards them. What is this? Sorry, guys. Your reading is really kind of... Um... Odd. The chariot. They're controlling. Who are they dealing with? I don't... Y'all... So let me get this straight. Let's back up for a second. Sorry if I'm annoying you. Go somewhere else with this if I am. Um, let me get this straight, Libra. I had, to, I had to bring the mic a little bit closer. Let me get this straight. They, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. This person, y'all, I want to I wanna smack them. All right, let me get this straight. They think you're genuine. They feel as if you had great potential to be loyal, all for them. You were actually everything they were looking for, right? Judgment in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They're deciding to ignore that. They're deciding to ignore it, okay? Because they're non-committal. And there's someone else. There is someone else in their energy. For those of you that didn't want to hear that, there is someone else in their energy. I'm trying to help you. They feel like you really boosted their ego. You really made them feel good about themselves. You really made them feel confident. And they were emotionally at one point depend. Like, I feel like this person is emotionally codependent to people. Like this person does need other people to validate them. They're not emotionally independent. And this is scary. You don't want to deal with someone like this because that means anyone can come along and validate them emotionally and grab their attention. You want someone to be emotionally dependent. You want someone who is strong minded, someone who is emotionally mature. This is not the one that's emo now. Can they change? Yeah, every people can change. Firm believer in people can change. As of right now in March, they're codependent toward how other people make them feel. They need that validation. So guess what? Someone else came along. Someone else came along if they weren't already in their energy and validated their emotions. And so they decided to take a turn. They decided to switch up on you. Okay. Now in my head, I was asking about this other person. This other person is not respectful. This, you know, the King of Pentacles in reverse is inappropriate. This person's actually inappropriate. Controlling. Okay. How does this person, um, how does Libra's past person see Libra right now? How do they see you? How does this past person see Libra? How do they see you? I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw everything on my table, y'all. I'm getting annoyed. 
They see you, sorry. They see you as the Ten of Pentacles, Libra. So you mean to tell me they see you as someone that they could have a fulfilling long-term connection with, but they decided to go after someone who was unstable, inappropriate, And it's a reflection of themselves. We are attracted to a reflection of ourselves. And then as we grow, our attraction changes. So what I want you to do, Libra, is ask yourself. I'm not saying this person's a bad person. I'm not saying you were a bad person. I'm not saying any of that. Because I know people like to twist my words. What I am saying is it's really important for us to ask ourselves, why was I attracted to that? Because that is going to be one sure way to figure out what part of you needs to be healed. So you can level up in life. So you can ascend. What was it in this person that you were attracted to? This person sees you as long term. Someone who could really contribute to a relationship. But look, they didn't want it. I was like, no, Leaper's drama free. I don't want that. Even though they do. They do want it. But they're too non-committal. They think about you, or, or they're going to be, four of swords in reverse. They're going to be in conflict about this. So if they haven't already... They're going to reach a point, Libra, to where four of swords in reverse, five of swords, that they're going to be like, dang, I effed up. Oh, well. What's Libra's, what's Libra going to say to that? You have free will, right? Nobody can control your actions, but you, nobody I don't care what people say in the spiritual community. Nobody can control your free will. Okay. What's Libra's response to that in the future? Seven of Swords. You don't want to be deceived again. Three of Cups. Just You will feel a sense of justice here. I... This person is going, look, there's going to be a point where this person comes back towards you for sure. Okay. But I feel like you've broken that cycle by the time they come back or somebody else has caught in your eye by that time. And I do feel like when they come back in, you're going to feel a sense of satisfaction, right? It's going to stroke your ego a little bit, but you're going to be instantly reminded about how this person treated you, how they were just able to walk away so easily. Now, some of you Libras will allow this person back in, but it's telling me if you do, it'll be a repeated cycle. Some of you guys, this is, this is all the, clo this is closure, which you give yourself closure, but you know, there's some type of closure coming in from this situation if it hasn't already. But you just think this person's dishonest with the justice in reverse. And you think it's come full circle. Okay. Three of cups. Some of you guys may have really good friendships around you that are giving you advice. And if the advice is, you know, reminding you about how this person was deceptive or dishonest and then it's over. I feel like you should, you know, obviously listen to yourself. But people around you aren't telling you anything that you don't already feel yourself. I don't see you wanting to go back to this person, but some of you guys are still holding on to the energy and you may accept this person back in with open arms only to repeat something. Yeah, because the hermit's here. They'll either ghost you again or withdraw again. Queen of Swords. This person's kind of cutthroat, actually. And then we have the non-committal card again. So yeah, I think you'll hear, for, hear from this person again. There's definitely some sort of communication clarity coming in. Some of you guys are going to find something out about this person. You're going to see it with your own eyes. And that creates some sort of closure. It creates some sort of breakthrough within your own personal growth and healing. 
This is telling me when this person comes back in, if you allow them in, it will be a repeated cycle. Because you accepting someone back into your life after they were deceptive toward you makes them lose respect for you, for one. And they think that, oh, I can get away with this again, Seven of Swords. And you don't want them to get away with it again. Could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Libra's here. Could be another Libra for some of you. I got a lot of fixed energy, earth energy, strong Leo, Cancers here as well. You could be dealing with a Cancer or someone that has those signs in their chart. I want to pull a card for what their hidden truth is right now at this moment towards Libra. They lied to you, Libra. They lied to you about something. It says, I regret lying to you. Somebody here could have led you on and they weren't even available, emotionally or physically available. They want to tell you how they feel. Well, how do they feel? That they crossed the line with you? Yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Give me one more card. So, some of y'all, this is news to you. Yeah. So Libra, this person lied to you. Okay, I just wanna I just wanna start there, right? They lied to you. And here's the thing, they now feel as if you were someone who was very genuine toward them, and they do wish that they would have came at you differently. They know that it was one sided, they know that they didn't treat you the way you deserve. This person does feel some type of way. Um, it's saying they want to start over. I feel like this person wants you in their life some way, somehow, and they're feeling like they may have messed that up. They crossed a line with you and they wish things could be different. So this to me, after everything I just read, just kind of translates to the fact that they crossed a line with you. They, they definitely did some shady-ish. They wish they wouldn't have. They wish things would have been different. And guys, they wish they would have been ready for you. This is someone who just was not ready for the type of commitment you were offering. They weren't ready for you. All right, and we're gonna do all signs, their sign. So this is if you are dealing with this sign. Sorry, am I talking too loud? Okay. Oh my God. I don't like this coffee mug. I don't like it. Okay. <clears throat> Again, um, if you're new to my channel, Timestamps will be available for you in the comment section. You click on them. You can bypass any parts you don't want to watch. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. And then this is the only one I have time for this morning because I have to get to an appointment here soon. Aries through Pisces. I just saw the tower, Libra. I feel like you guys may be experiencing some sort of tower moment. Let the tower fall. Let things fall. Let things fall. let people fall off. Just let things happen. Don't don't try to control it. Aries through Pisces. Thank you guys again for liking the video. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries is slowly coming toward you or back toward you. Five of Cups. The Aries is kind of ashamed of something they did or said, but they're coming towards you. 
If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a reunion or, you know, you and I see you in a, you're either going to have a reunion with the Taurus or I see you in a relationship with the Taurus in the future. There's some sort of coming together or coming back together. If you're dealing with a Gemini, four of swords. Why the Four of Swords? Page of Swords. The Gemini wants to communicate, but is not communicating. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're held back. Why? Seven of Pentacles. They're already invested in something else. The Cancer is attracted to you, okay? But they're already invested in something else right now. That's why they're held back from you. You're dealing with a Leo. Why the Three of Wands? You might have just had a, an ending with the Leo. I feel like this Leo betrayed you. I hate to say this. It was a matter of time. It was going to end. There's a reunion with a Virgo or somebody that's wanting to stay your friend. You're dealing with another Libra. I don't see them speaking. They're silent right now. I don't see them speaking up anytime soon or speaking their truth anytime soon. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, uh, they feel like you're their perfect match. They feel like there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius. They're a player, sneaky. They will betray you. They haven't already. And if they did, they'll do it again. The Capricorn, uh, they like you. Y'all have a Capricorn that has a crush on you. The Aquarius is closed off, guarded. I don't see them opening up anytime soon. They want to, though, but they're just stubborn. The Pisces wants a new beginning with you. I see the Pisces coming towards you for a new beginning. Remember to only take what resonates. Leave what does not resonate for someone else. I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.